Hello everyone. How will you be spending 2023? Learning new tools and technologies? But do you know what are the tools and technologies that needs to be learned in 2023? To stay relevant, to land a new job or to upgrade from a job what you are doing today? Stay tuned till the end of this video and you will know everything that needs to be known from the IT perspective for 2023. To start with at number 10, I have kept the software architect jobs. This is one of my favorite in the list. Now software architect can be redefined into different terms. A software architect can be an application architect, can be a solution architect, can be an enterprise architect depending upon what kind of architecture landscape they are looking into. What kind of skills you need to become a software architect? It's more of the BDAT, business, data, technology and application. You need a bit of experience to land up into this kind of jobs but they are the most high paying jobs in the market and when I say high salary the ranges of salary in India can vary from 15 lakhs to 55 lakhs in an average a software architect salary in India is around 25 to 30 lakhs a experience in software development project management is expected out in this role the knowledge of one or more programming language throughout your career will be an added advantage now languages like java python c++ if you have worked from end-to-end -end integration projects it will give you a more mileage in this particular kind of role knowledge of different development platforms understanding of the web application cyber security open source technology proficiency in analyzing the code for issues and errors are expected in this particular role the organizational skills and the leadership skills as soft skills will be very important the analytical mindset communication with the different kind of vendors external and internal is important in this kind of roles let's go to the next one at number nine it's metaverse what is metaverse metaverse is meta plus universe so you are actually traveling into the universe sitting at home this metaverse is taking up a lot of traction in the market now and in coming years the internet is going to change how you are seeing today it refers to the virtual world that allow user to experience the range of activities related to the entertainment like fitness education traveling and those sort of things now metaverse you can visit different parts of the world you can buy goods you you can buy services games like epic games they are already experiencing metaverse in fortnite uh, through the digital concert now minecraft is also another kind of immersive social and virtual experience virtual reality augment reality these are the key things which you must be looking into now in metaverse what kind of skills do you require the skills are in wide range of varieties it can start from the gaming side if you are good in the gaming side you can start with 3d modeling and design if you want a job in the gaming platform you can start with the computer programming if you are good in the virtual reality or the augment reality development go towards that side if you are good in the blockchain side you can think about blockchain and nft engineering if you are good in the data side you can just start about the data skills you can also get a job in the ui or the ux designs or in that platform you can even get a job in the project management for metaverse the starting salary of metaverse can range from 6 lakhs to 35 lakhs depending upon your experience so this is one particular area you should not miss out in 2023 and keep an eye on the metaverse skills and the platform is going to give us a lot in the future at number eight it is product management and the project management now whether you do it in the agile way scrum way or the safe way it doesn't matter but there are a lot of opportunities for every project to hire the project managers the product managers who have the domain knowledge with them it is a great opportunity and you can still focus to get that kind of jobs in 2023 what kind of skills are required to get a job in this platform? It's a balance of a hard and soft skill. Now you as a project manager should be understanding the business requirement and ensure the team is addressing the needs through the developed solution. But it's a combination of technical, functional and non-functional. It is not just the project management. You should know or you should be aware about the methodologies like waterfall, agile, scrum, lean or prints. And in this position, you will require an excellent leadership and management skill. You should be having the experience of leading and developing project and the product teams. You should be able to also develop a strategic relationship with the client, management and the project team. Apart from that, you should manage and track the project financials. 
develop a monthly progress reports and report to your higher bosses. The salary ranges from 15 lakhs to 45 lakhs depending upon the skills and the experience in project or the product management. At number seven, it is security. Cyber security is uh, taking a uh, same traction in the market now. Everyone is very much worried about the system to be secured. There are a lot of penetration testing happening in different kind of companies and you have a great opportunity in the security side. So whether you secure your assets, whether you secure your systems, whether you secure your software, but security is one of the key thing again back in 2023 and you need to watch out on that area and keep an eye and you have a lot of opportunities. And opportunities are not getting created just like that. The cyber security threats have increased 50 in first half of 2022. India's healthcare sector has faced 1.9 million cybersecurity threats in 2022. And India is one of the top five country where cybersecurity threats have spiked during the last month of the year. Cyber criminals will be spending 2023 continuously fine-tuning their methods in more professional operation. As for the weakest link in any security chain, it's the people. The rising complexity of social engineering scams with their proven track record of exploiting people will continue in 2023. This is again one area where variety kind of skills will be required. Scripting in Python, PowerShell. You can start looking into the cyber security frameworks, the intrusion detection network security control, different kind of operating system like Mac, Linux, Unix, Windows, CentOS, the cloud security aspects, the DevOps security and the regulatory compliance like GDPR needs to be looked into. The salary ranges will be from 5 to 25 lakhs depending upon the kind of experience you are holding on the security frameworks. At number six, it is RPA and hyper automation. Now, what is RPA? RPA is the robotic process automation and hyper automation is taking attraction on top of the automation which we have seen. Robotic process automation is the process of using the robots that are trained to automate routine, repetitive and predictable tasks through the interaction that are designed to emulate the human actions. RPA has made the attended and the unattended bots which has made our life a lot easier. Hyper automation on the other hand consists of increasing the automation of the business process by introducing artificial intelligence, machine learning and the robotic process automation. And skills required in this particular section depends upon what kind of skills you want to explore and what kind of job you want to get. Now if it is just RPA then it is UI path, blue prism, automation anywhere you can start learning those and you will land up in a good job. But on the other hand, if you want to do hyper automation, you have a combination of artificial intelligence where you may start learning TensorFlow, neural network, NLPs or machine learning where you start looking into deep learning. The salary ranges between 4 to 25 lakhs depending upon the skill again. Let's see the next one in the list. At number five, it is blockchain. Blockchain is again taking up a lot of traction in the banking, in the finance, in the insurance and a lot of areas where a trust is required. Blockchain evolution started with a white paper published by Satoshi Nakamoto in October 2008 for Bitcoin, which is a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. And what is a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system? Electronic cash system sent from person to person without any intermediaries. The blockchain ecosystem can be developed using Corda, Ethereum, Hyperledger, experience in Ethereum with Solidity related tools like Truffle, Gate is required for the job. If you have experience in ReactJS, Node.js or Java, then this is fantastic. The blockchain protocols, consensus mechanisms like BFT, PBFT, smart contract, Web3 needs to be understood. Developers here can be categorized into two sections. The core blockchain developers who design the architecture and the security of blockchain. Blockchain software developer on the other hand uses the core web foundation and use the architecture built by the core team to create a decentralized application and web applications. The worldwide spending on blockchain is growing and blockchain spending will grow to 15.9 billion by 2023 is the projection. The IoT started adopting the blockchain in very large scale. So watch out guys, this will be a great opportunity and a great area to keep an eye. 
salary will vary from 6 lakhs to 45 lakhs dependent upon whether you are a core blockchain developer or a software developer who is using the core at number four it is machine learning and ai programming according to the world economic forum artificial intelligence and machine learning will create a net of 58 million jobs by next five years machine will do more tasks than humans have ever thought by 2025 is the projection this means that this is the right time to jump on the artificial intelligence bandwagon as it will only grow in the future there is no downfall from here the job roles in the machine learning and artificial intelligence can be many like data scientist this data scientist will be predicting the business trends by gathering analyzing massive data using the artificial intelligence technologies the other area is ai software developer now developing and writing code not only for the AI but also for the platform using in creating and deploying the machine learning and AI systems. There will be also research scientist area where they will be experimenting and understanding the human mind using cognitive science simulations. There will be another area to watch out is robotics engineering where they will be designing and developing and testing the robots that can be used safely and are economic for the society. The machine learning engineering is another area. Developing and programming the machines that perform certain tasks in the full automation is what will come in future. So the skill demands are also varying depending upon the chosen subject or what you want to do here. But one thing is in common. You need to have a mathematical background where a knowledge of probability, statistics, algebra, calculus, algorithms and logic is very important here. You should have also some idea about the networking fields like neural networks, graphical modeling or Biosium networks is important. In the engineering side, you should have a knowledge of physics and robotics. In the computer science, programming of languages like Java, Python, C++, Prolog, etc. are very important. The cognitive science theory is also something which you need to know and a knowledge of cognitions and and how this cognitive science works needs to be known the salary will again vary between 5 to 60 lakhs depending upon which job role you are into at number three it is a devops engineer in the realm of software development emerging technologies are booming Technology like DevOps is continuously proving itself significant among the huge list amid the pandemic DevOps has established an imperative development methodology. In fact, according to the survey, the DevOps industry would grow at a compound annual growth rate of 24.7% from 2019 to 2026. So 2023 will be again important and they are saying that it will be reaching a value of 20.1 billion. Thus, it is very clear that the role of DevOps in the digital transformation will bring revolutionary changes again in various industries. I need to mention about some of the DevOps trends that you need to look after for 2023. Things like serverless computing, low-code application, artificial intelligence, GitOps, infrastructure as a code, DevSecOps, observability, multi-cloud environment and chaos engineering is something that needs to look after in the DevOps area. To start a career in DevOps, start by learning creating continuous development and continuous integration pipeline which is named as CI-CD pipelines with Git or SVN as a code repository. Then learn Docker, Docker Swarm, Kubernetes to get some hands-on in that area. You can then start learning some scripting to automate the pipeline like Groovy, Shell Script, etc. Then learn some monitoring tools like Grafana, Prometheus, Dynatrace so that you will be able to monitor the nodes and get a hands of how the DevOps pipeline is working from end to end. The salary starts from 6 lakhs and shoots up to 30 lakhs depending upon how much skills you are adapting in the DevOps area. Regardless of what the future holds for the IT firms, DevOps will develop further and significantly impact the IT sector. So keep an eye on this area for 2023. Act number two, it is cloud. You can have a multiple opportunity in the cloud space for next few years. 
the dynamic socio-economic environment of last few years has had a lasting impact on the cloud adoptions. A global pandemic and a stay-at-home mandates drove companies to accelerate their digital transformation, including shifting to the cloud-based application to support remote workers and quickly rolling out new cloud services to retain the customers. Gartner Inc. forecasts that in 2023, worldwide public cloud spending will grow 20.7% to total 591.8 billion, up from 490.3 billion in 2022. 2023 is again the year when cloud computing finally meets its true potential, combining both usability and the widespread accessibility. The key cloud computing trends for 2023 are many. I will mention about few of them like powering the hybrid workers. The global spending on the desktop as a service will grow to 3.2 billion in 2023 is a projection. The cloud sustainability is another factor all the companies are thinking about. About 83% agrees that sustainability is the most important criteria in IT buying. The artificial intelligence adoptions boost the cloud growth. Enterprises are embracing the sovereign clouds to ensure the compliance. SaaS is maturing and will grow rapidly in future. Another factor, FinOps, is on the rise. Around 80% of the companies using cloud services will have FinOps. They are trying to optimize the cloud cost in AWS, Azure or GCP. The cloud native strategies gain ground with 40% company adopting the cloud native first strategy. You can start learning cloud with any vendor starting from Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Red Hat or Oracle. The salary ranges from 10 to 55 lakhs per annum depending upon the starting point and the experience you are gathering over the period of time. At number one, it is full stack development. Full stack development is the best one at the market and it is working in bulk. The more you do full stack, the more is the probability of getting jobs. Now, full stack development is the easiest one to start with, but still you get a job in every companies. Every companies in every project, they're looking for the full stack developers. Now, to start with full stack development, where do you start? You start with the front end and you just end up with the back end integration with it. It can be middleware. It is an added advantage if you do so now what are examples are you start with HTML you start with CSS and then you go through the angular react or anything for that matter in the front end in the middle layer you can start doing some messaging stuffs in the back end you take MongoDB or Oracle as an example so full stack development is something you need to watch out for 2023 and it is the biggest opportunity for all the freshers and the people who have been into the software development for a while and this is the best opportunity or the best platform to get many jobs thank you very much for watching this video please like and share with your friends and colleagues and stay subscribed i will see you in the next video